This week, I ask you and I encourage you to become a generous ambassador for God. And that is our affirmation this week. I am a generous ambassador for God. Say that with me. I am a generous ambassador for God. Christianity has always been defined by charity, charity to those less fortunate than ourselves. And you are an ambassador for God. You do not hold back. You give, and you give of yourself the most valuable gift of all. In Ecclesiastes 11, verse 1, it says, Be generous. Invest in acts of charity. Charity yields high returns. My friend, this is soul investment. When you invest yourself in charity, when you invest in this way, it is like the law of tithing. You will reap a 100-fold return. And it will be in like kind and better than you can ever imagine of the gifts that you gave. If you can learn to develop a loving heart towards those in your home and your family, you'll have much more of an ability and be more free to give ungrudgingly at God's prompting to those who are in most desperate need. I'm asking you this week to take your calendar and make a new column on it and put in that column at the heading, Generosity. And then daily record ways that you went above and beyond being generous with others. God's Word promises a reward for generosity. And God does give a reward for generosity. God needs you to be the middleman for generosity. And if you are agreeing to do this by saying, I am a generous ambassador for God, and living this way, well, you'll take your faith to a whole new level. You cannot just attend church. You cannot just read the Bible. You have to put your faith into practice in you, in your life, in your actions and reactions. If you want to experience the fullness of God's blessing, you must be generous. You must be generous with your time, not being too busy to listen or to help another. You have to be generous with your talents. This is a big one. So often, we get so busy that we don't want to help a subordinate. We don't want to help a co-worker. Uh, not this week. You are a generous ambassador for God. You find a young person to mentor, to share your knowledge with, to make them better. And everywhere you go, you will be generous with your encouragement. You will encourage others and you'll also be generous with your possessions and your financial gifts. I saw on television recently where a minister uh, gave uh, a waitress only an 8% tip and then wrote a note uh, that said, you know, that why should I give you more than, than we are taught to give to God? <laughs> well, this is not the way to live. It is the way to live, to be overly generous with everyone that we see and everyone that we meet. It is not to hold back on giving to God or giving to anyone, because you are living your life as a cathedral of your faith. Your body temple is that cathedral. When people see you, they, they judge whether you're Religion, your faith, is working. And you're going to work your faith by working your generosity. And you are going to bless 
others in ways that are profound beyond what you can even imagine. And you know what? God will bless you too. You cannot give this away. It comes back to you multiplied a hundredfold and more. But if you allow yourself to go the way of so many that become tight-fisted and miserly with our possessions and our time and our abilities and even our love, uh, we, when we become miserly, we deprive ourselves first of the spiritual abundance that could otherwise be ours. We all seek God's promised abundance, and we seek God's peace. We seek God's happiness. The way it is found is not by hoarding it, but by giving it away first. Like the old farmer's well that you would crank on, you must add water first to that pump, or it can never pump water. And it is that way spiritually, in your soul, and in your life. You must be generous first. Share the blessings that you have gotten with others. And you'll find that when you do, the many blessings that you have will be multiplied, not depleted. And so will your joy. I wish you a week of being a generous ambassador for God.